This your boy Brian McKinney, the world champion Baltimore Ravens. And I want to give a shout out to you, Footballville. Frank Labadee. Frank, how you doing today? I'm doing great, Coach. Frank, uh, where did you play youth football at? Tacosi. Any idea how many touchdowns you had, Tacosi? Well, I was a beast at Tacosi. I probably had like over over all the years. I probably counted for over 50 touchdowns. You think you scored 50 touchdowns, Tacosi? Yes, sir. How many years you played? Three years. Started at Edison. Uh -huh, I started at Edison. In Miami, Edison. No? I moved my way to Champagne Yard. With my with my close friends, who I played at Tacosi with Jason Williams and Calvin Foster, okay. and my little brother Kendrick Labatty. Yes. All right, let's go back to, to, to Edison. Did you start as, uh, as a freshman? Were you on the varsity? Yes, sir. So, so I really started my tenth grade year. I think I, I played out in my ninth grade. Year. Okay, so your tenth grade year, you varsity from the jump. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, how did you do your tenth grade year? It just exploded. That was my breakout year. I felt like I had something to prove. I had a lot of got great guys around me, got a lot of big brothers around me, uh -huh. so I had to be great. Can't Ain't settle no. for nothing else. Okay, anybody you want to thank for medicine? Uh, I would. I like to thank Coach Harris, mm -hmm. and Coach Joe, and my, my favorite coach of all time, Coach Money. Coach who? Coach Lurie. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at now? He locked up right now. Yeah. yeah he locked up. Okay, uh, we're gonna talk about that later. All right, then we went from Edison to Champagne Yacht Catholic. It's a small school, 200 kids. How was that transition? Well, it was. It was different. It's a smaller. It's a smaller group. There's more people not my color. There's more love there, though. It's, it's, it's more to learn. It's just a new environment. Was the hands transition hard? Was it easy? Actually, the coaching staff and the, and the players, even the teachers and the players, like the people in the school, has made it easy for me. But they had a humbling and loving. Like, like towards me, it was no never hatred, never beef towards us. So I feel like I got along with them real quick. Okay, um, Cincinnati. This summer you took trips to a couple colleges. Um, one on was Cincinnati University of Cincinnati. Explain to us uh, what happened when you went to Cincinnati. Wow, it was amazing. I finally seen snow for the first time. In Cincinnati, I, yeah, the first I time seen snow. snow. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it was a good. It was just great. Like I got, I got to chill with a couple. Like coach, like, I got to chill with a player named Ralph. He just showed me around the world. Like in Cincinnati, it just everybody loves you. No matter what color, no matter where you come from, it's home. No matter what, they're not they they did a little bit of tradition. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, All right, so when you left Cincinnati. Explain to us, you end up committing. Why did you commit? Felt like home. My mama always told me, never go nowhere that you didn't feel like home. Okay. Once I got out there, I went to a lot of colleges. But once I got there, I just felt like home. How many offers did you have? I had like seven offers. Seven offers from, um, name some of the schools. Uh, uh, FAU, FIU, I had the U, I had uh, Tennessee, I had uh, Hawaii, okay. and my first offer. Yeah, Hawaii was the first offer? Yeah, Hawaii was the first You had an offer from University of Miami? Yes, sir. Uh, but you stuck with Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. You was loyal to Cincinnati. Yeah, 80 grand. Yeah? 80 grand. 80 grand. He's still there? Yeah, he's still there. He's running back for right now. Yeah. Okay. I met 80 grand and he was at Florida State, actually. All right, this year you started off. How many touchdowns you had this year? Uh, about 12 touchdowns. 12 touchdowns. And then um, explain what happened going into the playoff, team undefeated, Champagne Yard headed to a possible state champions, and explain to the people what happened to you. Well, I got hurt really playoff time. Mm -hmm. But how my team made it, and as the underclassmen, really, I love the underclassmen. Yeah, they're great. They stuck together. They, did, they they stepped up to the plate because I was the as, as a big brother I was I was they so and hard to uh, offer. Okay. There's a lot of guys stepped up, especially Tato Nelson. He stepped up and played a big role in the whole playoffs turn. He's in the field of our team. Okay. Champagne Yard. Anybody you want to thank at Champagne Yard for? Uh, uh Coach Zach. Yeah, Coach Zach. He really brought. He, he brought the program together, really. Yeah. Our offense was not really that good at the beginning of the year, springtime. Okay. Cause Zach really came and organized the offense. All 
right? So I, I got to salute Coach Zach. Coach Zach, Coach, Coach Zach. tell people, explain who Coach Zach is. Coach Zach is our officer head coach. Uh-huh. Little white guy who walks around, man. The only white guy on the, the coaching staff. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. Anybody else you want to thank? Coach Mike Thompson. Coach Mike Thompson knew me since Optimus. He knew I had potential, but he never could have got a hand on me. Because the coach wouldn't let me go that easy. Yeah. But Coach Mike always stuck to me. He was thinking that no matter if I played with him or not, he always was like a father figure to me. So with him letting me on his team, it was a blessing. Alright. Frank, explain something to us to some of the kids that's coming up that's your size. You're not the biggest player on the field. <laughs> but sometimes you make the biggest impact on the field. Could, could you could you dig deep and explain to them how you do it? Is it done out of fear? Is it done out of confidence? Explain to them how it's done. Out of heart, man. You gotta have heart. In, in the game of football, you must have heart, man. It's like you go out, what you going out there for? You gonna be scared. You know what you, you know the sport you play. You know what goes with it. So that when you, and for a little guy, you know Tavon Austin is my one of my role models. Right. He could do it, so why can't I? So I just, I just live by that. Little, little, little things come a big, mean, <laughs> big things come in little packages. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, what do you expect? Um, what do you expect? When you plan on leaving? When are you going to Cincinnati? June second. Oh, June second. Okay, uh, you know it's gonna be an eye-opening experience, right? It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be different. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. wait for it. You ready for that? Ready for it. Have you ever been away from home for a long period of time? Uh, my first time. I'm three days away from home. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, I want you to make football good. Make me one promise. What's up? That, that you don't come back without a diploma. I will not come back without a diploma. Yeah. Shake on that. <laughs> Cincinnati Bearcat, man. Bearcat life. <laughs> yeah, Anything else you want to say, man, to your family, anybody? Yeah, I love you, mama. Kendrick, are we here? E, Frank, Else. All my baby girls, man. It's Frank, we here, man. We from the rock and roll, man. All right, man. The football field. Good luck in the future, man. Thank you. All right. Else up for the line one time. Louisville. Louisville. Sissy life, baby. Sissy life. <laughs>